Hello everyone. This is the basic tutorial of mounting of strain gauge. Materials used. Aluminum bar, glass plate, conditioner A, neutralizer 5A, adhesive, catalyst C, gauge installation tester, soldering equipment and the important strain gauge. Surface preparation Apply generous amount of conditioner A and abrade the surface with 600 grit sandpaper. Wipe the surface with the tissue paper to make the surface clean. Use the tissue paper in one direction. Then generously apply Neutralizer 5A on the work surface. Wipe the surface using cotton buds and again clean the surface using tissue paper. Make sure you use the tissue paper in one direction. Now clean the glass slab with the help of Neutralizer 5A and then Wipe the glass surface using cotton buds. Clean the glass surface using tissue paper until it comes clean. Mounting a strain gauge. Strain gauge used in our tutorial has a resistance of 120 ohms with the tolerance of 0.3. Take out the strain gauge with the help of tweezers holding the strain gauge from the corner. Make sure you do not touch the strain gauge. Place the strain gauge on the glass slab and make sure you position electrical terminals facing up. Use tape on the strain gauge to secure it to the glass surface. Peel off the tape and create a loop. Now, apply Catalyst C to the strain gauge. Apply meagerly the Catalyst C. Wait for 2 to 3 minutes for the catalyst to dry. Remove the loop and transfer the gauge on the aluminum bar. Apply M1200 adhesive to the surface where the strain gauge needs to be placed on the aluminum bar. Apply gentle pressure to the strain gauge for 2 to 3 minutes. Carefully remove the tape and see that strain gauge is properly mounted on the bar. Soldering, the most important part. Clean the soldering tip by using tissue and apply some solder to the terminals of strain gauge. Align electric wires to the gauge terminals using tape. Carefully solder the electric wires. Do not overdo it.
Now connect other end of the wires to the gauge installation tester and measure the resistance of the strain gauge which we obtain as 120 ohms. Thank you.